In this video, we'll be looking at how to design this book cover in Corridor. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to size our book. All right. So to do that, make sure you're, um, you're at 8 inches. All right. Your unit is at inches and the size we're making use of is uh, 5.5 by 8 inches. All right. So this is the size of the book. So this is what we're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our rectangle tool and um, draw this way and make sure it's at 5.5 um, by 8 inches. All right. So press letter P on your keyboard to make it fit to frame. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to, this is the front cover. So we're going to duplicate this rectangle to get the front and the back cover. So now this is what we're going to do for your control and uh, point this uh, middle anchor point and flip this way and just right click immediately or you can basically do this all right but the best one is um the best one i i love the way it is holding control and uh flip to this point and right click immediately all right so this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is highlight everything by coming over here select all using your mouse so the next thing you're going to do is um We'll change everything to 11, all right, then highlight again and press Ctrl G to make it fit the frame, then press letter P to fit it to frame just this way, and this is what we're going to have. So um, we have our front and we have the back cover. So this is what we are going to have. So here now we're going to um, um, bring out our spine, all right, so to do that, the size of the spine I'll be making use of is um let's let's make use of 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.7. Alright, so 0. 0.7 is what we are making use of as the spine. So I'm gonna bring this one this way. Alright. I'm gonna bring this one over here and uh, bring this one just right here. Alright. So this is what you are going to have. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything and um, group it, Ctrl G on your keyboard and press letter B to fit into frame. So now the size we're having is um, 11.703. So copy that and um, select and just make sure it's fitted to frame just as simple as this. It's as easy as that, guys. Just the way we do the, the program or the magazine we normally design. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this and now let's get our margin for this tutorial or for this book cover. Now select your rectangle to draw just right here, remove the fill color and leave the outline. So now the size we're making use of is 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 inches. Now this is what you're going to have. So hold shift on your keyboard. Now with your left mouse, highlight this one and press letter C, take it to the top and let's add to take it to the left. That is uh, the margin we're, we're making use of. Now select, draw your ruler over here. All right, so bring your ruler, just come over, either the horizontal or the vertical, just, you know, click and drag and that is it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select again and hold shift, select and um, press letter B on your keyboard to bring it to the bottom. That is the bottom alignment. Now you can drag those right there. Now select again, hold shift, um, select, and um, press letter R to take it to the, to the right. That is right alignment. All right, so bring in your ruler and get your margin just as perfect as that. All right, so now bring another one, put it to the line, bring another one, and put it over here. Now, what we're going to do, make sure is fit that to the line, all right, to get a perfect margin. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this, um, the square we just got and uh, hold shift. Then select the front cover while holding your shift and press give that L to take it to the left. Now, bring in your ruler and um, just place it just right here and now um, leave that to that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is hold this again for your shifts and Click on the front cover, press letter R to take it to the right, just this way. 
And I think this is the last one which you're gonna do. And if you're confused in this, don't forget guys, drop me your comments in the comment section below. So the next thing we're gonna do is, now we've gotten the imagine and while designing, I always forget to tell you guys, make sure you see your work in case of power outbreak, all right? This is Nigeria. So now, hold control and um, control S to save. We'll come back to your file and select um, save, all right? I'm going to save this as on desktop just as book cover. All right, so we're going to save that and leave that to that. And this is what you are going to have, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the outline or the stroke on this cover. Now, we have a blood stroke, as you can see. Now, to remove that, highlight everything and come to this. And right-click on it and select set outline color. And this is boom. What you're going to have. So as you can see, it has disappeared. Now... We're going to bring in our stock image. It's not actually a stock image, it's the author image, the picture of the of the author, the writer of this book, which will be on the back cover and some other elements. Now I'm going to go to file and select um, import. All right, so once I do that, I'll come to download and where we have videos. Now this is it. Now I'm going to select this and select this. All right, basically place them just right here. This is the auto and this is, this is actually a random um, ice SBN logo, uh, sorry, number I just generated. is a random, it's not correct. So now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna make a sketch for this um, book. You understand, we're making use of, we're illustrating something that has to depict the title of this book. Now let's come over to our text and the title of this book is called It Begins With You. All right, so um, we're going to copy this. This is the information for the front cover. And um, so come to corridor and select your text tool and over here, click and uh, press letter B. Letter B to paste. Now give me the white color so we can see. Now this is basically what you have. Um, this is the information for the front cover up now if you come down to this notes part you will see the names of the fonts we'll be making use of just two fonts for this tutorial just two and let's watch the magic now let's get some illustration for this tutorial and um we're going to start over here it begins with you so let's start mosquitoes so let's start the illustration and um the first one we're going to do is uh okay let's do something like this let's bring up this let's illustrate something all right trying to illustrate so bring in your um ellipse too all right now um let's let's bring in our uh, Freehand to and draw this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and um, this way, this way, this way. Put the knot here and um, put another one here and bring another one just right here and another one here and i'm um, just here and you can basically drop it over here and this is basically what you're going to have you'll be wondering why we're drawing this but don't worry you will understand very soon so this is actually somebody looking up you understand so um let's do this all right that's cool all right what i actually did was i selected this double types like one and two now use this anchor point that i'm taking behind like the head is facing up there and uh over here let's select our shape tool sorry this will actually take a bit time but it will actually worth it now select this come back to um curve and actually drag this one just right here and uh all right so let me that's that now let's adjust this one so let's let's delete this and leave that to that so over here let's basically 
let's do this one just right here and this is the hand actually a random illustration guys so um let's bring this one here and bring this one here then come to your shape tool and uh right click has let's curve um all right so to curve and um we're illustrating anyway guys so we just illustrating random illustration all right so now what we're gonna do is uh let's bring this one just right here and i think we're good with this one so we're gonna add a little bit of shadow to this so first of all let's give it the let's give it a black color often black all right so this is what we're gonna have for now and um let's give it um let's give it a shadow just over here give it a shadow and leave that to that. Bring another one here. Maybe I hold on. And this is the shadow. All right. So now this is what we are going to have. So the second illustration which we're going to have is uh, basically something like this, but this time around. We're gonna come this way and um let's let's give you the black stroke. Now select your uh, shape tube and draw this way, this way, and this way, this way, this way, and this way. Bring the other one. This is actually somebody walking, he's on the motion. Bring this one here. Bring this one here and bring another one here. All right. And that is it, guys. All right. So now remove the fill and let's use our shape tool. And um, basically, we're going to drag. Sorry, we're going to uh, convert to comb by right clicking. It's left convert to curve. Now I'm taking this up and right click again. Let's convert to curve. Now bring this one just right here. All right, this is actually so on the motion. All right, so I'm gonna right click and select to curve. All right, so now this is it, and this is what we're gonna have, guys. So just drag this one up, convert to curve. You can follow this just it's very easy to do all right so i'm gonna just bring something like this and put it here this is just a random sketch you know all right so let's let's give it a black color remove the stroke so this is it it begins with you and now we're gonna give this one let's let's uh change to weld so we have trimmed everything together so come over to this one and weld everything together and this is what you're gonna have guys so what i'm gonna do is add a shadow just as we did here um over here but this shadow i'm gonna add here will make use of our shadow tool to add the shadow over here so select your shadow tool on your tools bar and um drag just this way now come over to your presets and select this um i don't know what to call it but the perspective bottom left now once you do that bring this one just right here all right so can increase just this way and um now this is what you are going to have this is what you're going to have guys but what i'm going to do is I want to select and um, use Ctrl plus K to break it apart. That's the shadow apart from the from the this thing. Now I'm going to select this one and bring it just right here. All right. So what I want to do is 
I'm going to change this one to black. Alright, so this is basically what you're going to have. Now, but I want to make this one perfect black. So it's not working, but before that, let's, let's make it a perfect black by coming over here. Alright, change this to perfect black just this way. Alright, so this is what you're going to have. So break it apart. And um, basically, you can use your shape too and um, adjust the motion, that's the movement. Alright, so this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to basically highlight this and put it over here. And highlight this one, put it just right here. So the next thing we're going to do is... Um, we're going to create this, this ladder, call it ladder, but well, it's called ladder. So use a shape tool and uh, make this rough corner and uh, come over to this and um, basically duplicate it. And next thing I'm going to do is, um, uh, let's make this one smaller. So I'm going to make this one gray. So what I'm going to do is select my uh, right angle tool and uh, draw just right here. And I'm going to bring this one down and hold Ctrl plus R to duplicate it this way. And boom guys, this is what you are going to have. All right. This is what you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it this way. And once you weld it, as you can see, we'll have this one just the way it is. Now, the next thing we're going to do is let's place our illustration. So, like I told you, the title of this is It Begins With You. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my um, freehand suit. All right. I'm going to bring my freehand suit and do something like this. Like this, and like this, bring another one here, bring another one here, bring another one here, bring another one just right here, and fit it that. And this is basically what you're going to have. Now, so let's adjust this, let's adjust this. So as you can see, let me bring it my ruler. So this one has to come over here. All right, let's bring out the ruler. And this one has to come over here. And this one come over here. And now, uh, so this one has to be smaller because it's a wall. Not actually one of Jericho, but it's a wall. You have to pay attention to understand this. Actually, you have to pay attention to understand this tutorial. Now, this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to break my... I'm going to break this one, draw this way. All right. So I'm going to color this um, red. But I'm going to give it a different shade of red this way. All right. Change to RGB. RGB red is what we are going to make use of in this design. Now click on OK. Now right click and select part here, blazing into this frame. Now I'm going to bring another one this way. Make sure it is aligned, but you're going to understand what we're doing. Now for our clip into this frame, and um, this is what you are going to have. All right, so now we're going to leave this one just the way it is. Maybe let's give it, let's give it this uh, black so that We'll have a cool shadow then. You understand? This is actually a wall. So now I'm going to bring in my... I'm going to bring in this... Uh, what is it called? I'm going to bring in this ladder. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to do this just right here. Place it over here. 
Now what I want to do is, I want to go to this and select objects, then select perspective, then select add perspective. Now I'll just drag this one here, bring this one down. Bring this one just to make it lap, as you can see it's lapping on the wall over here. So it actually begins smaller. It begins with um, you over here. I don't know if you understand what we're going to do here. It begins with you. Alright, so this is basically the illustration for this for this design. So we're going to make this one smaller. And I'm um, going to bring this one down. So this one is basically going to be small. Because life begins with you guys. You have to make the choice yourself. And no one is going to do it for you. Alright, so this is it guys. It begins with you. If you climb the ladder, you sketch through. If you don't climb the ladder, that is it for you guys. So now I'm going to cut this. Alright. That's the name of the bottle. Give it a black color. Now the font we're making use of this is called Calibri. Calibri, all right, so let's, everybody has this font, if you don't have it, if you don't have it, I'm going to give you a bluff. <laughs> everybody has this font on their system, all right, so what I want to do is I'm going to basically lift this one here and place it over here, so I'm going to use my shape tool and drag this one just right here and make sure it's, it, it's paced professionally. Alright, so this is the title of this book, book title, and begins with you. So we're going to delete this book title and leave it begins with you. But the font we make use of this is called, um, I can't cram this font, guys. Clarice, Clarice. Alright, this is the font, guys. So we're going to change this upper case in Shift F3. So highlight everything and use uh, Shift plus F3 to go to change case and use change case over here now what i'm going to do is put the cursor here and um um put another cursor here and this is what you're going to have break apart using control plus k and uh, what i'm going to do now is we're going to play with this with this text bring this one down and uh it begins so it does begin with the it's so we're gonna bring this one just over here and um uh it begins with you. So this you I want it to be bigger because I think the emphasis is on you, so we have to make the and uh, you the you bigger so to leave an emphasis in there. So now this width where we're gonna put it, so I basically did something funny here. I converted this to curve. By clicking the convert to golf, now I use my shape to highlight this, and I brought this one down. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is basically break this one over here, and um, you know, just need that. So that goes right here, and um, let's take this one up. Then select this one, bring it over here, select this. Bring it just right here and make sure it's aligned as you can see how beautiful that looks. So we're gonna scale this one up and leave that to that. So we're gonna play with the colors, but the emphasis, like I said, is on you. So we're gonna make use of this red and make it stand out. Like stand out, guys. I stand out. <laughs> so this is our clean land, the leadership skill, and the stand I'm down. Okay, so we're going to break this one over here in the market plate. So we're going to just give this a black color. Place this one just right here and make it small, just like that. All right, so we're going to basically um, break this one over here, burn it, and give it red, like everything is standing out on its own. All right. So, congratulations, we're done with the front cover and coming to the back cover. Now, if you look at the book, 
And if you look at books, we have about the books, uh, about the book and about the author. So the first one comes, it either comes about the book or comes about the author. But here we're starting about the book. So instead of writing about the book, I'll professionally, <laughs> I'll rather make use of this title over here. That is the book. All right, so I'll rather make use of this title. And um, don't always leave the margin. Always keep the margin if you're designing anything, all right? Now, bring in your text to draw this way. All right, make sure this is over here, aligned. And um, come to your text or your note for it and select. This is about the book, so we are not taking that because we have, we have the name of the book over there. So just copy, click and drag. And um, we're going to make use of Calibrate. Calibrate fonts. Maybe that 10. Fonts 10, guys. Font 10 is fine. Don't always make your make your text look unique and you don't look look special. Like special. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to drag this one down and uh, copy about the auto. Don't worry, guys. Um, the author will give you all this information. You understand? The author always comes with his or her information. All right, don't stress yourself about this. And so we're going to copy this. This is the name of the author. So I'm not going to write about the author. I'll pre I prefer using the name of the author. Well, sometimes anything that works for you, like honest, hey guys, go for it. You know, go for it. So I'm forgetting the name of this font again. Carries. All right. So this is it guys, so scale this up and make sure it's aligned with the text. So we're aligning by the left, so we use left alignment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one up just like that and make this one more and make sure it's uh, aligned just right here. And this is basically what you could have been. I enjoyed this tutorial guys. It's it's, it's, it's cool. All right. Don't forget the font we're making is of font 10. All right. Sometimes I make use of font 9. Depends. All right. So let's try 9.5. And so that we can increase the spacing so that it won't look, our text won't look that jam packed. So let's use 9.5 over here. Sorry. 9.5 and um that looks great and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the um we're gonna bring this rectangle and drop over here and um give it a route corner now right click and power clip the uh, author's image in this we're not actually doing anything special about this image just the way this is cool by me um, I'm going to bring in the ISBN number, that's the code. Let's see here, like I said, this is actually a random one I generated. Not too serious. Alright, so let's take this one up a little bit. Alright guys, so finally what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring in this color and just put it here. Alright, so uh, now, what I'm going to do is, we're going to just write this it begins with you now bring it over here and rotate it this way 217 degrees all right so bring this one just right here and um, the author's name all right so it does bring the author's name over here give me the white color bring it just right here and leave that, that, and this is basically what you're gonna have. This is how we design this unique um, book cover in Korea. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to drop me comments in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. All right, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video, guys. Invite invite your friends to this channel. They will learn a lot. All right, help this channel grow, guys. We are on fifteen thousand. We still have a long way to go, guys. So don't forget subscribe and. Support the boy and see you guys in my next video.